Today, my friends, I am going to help you immediately up level your in person networking game. And stick with me till the end because I have a resource for you. Hey there, my friends. This is Kelly Schaefer. I am a retired registered nurse who took her love of helping others and started a local concierge business back in 2010 and created the Concierge Academy in 2014 to help others in my industry who wanted to build a business successfully helping others in their local community. Okay, so if you've been following me for a while, then you know that networking, the term networking, is the number one thing that is going to get you clients. Most people don't exactly know the right way to do networking, though. I know when I first started, um, I had no idea what the heck I was doing <laughs> at all. I was awful, but I had decided that I was going to get really, really good at networking. So real quick, I'm going to give you five ways that you can immediately up-level your in-person networking game. Number one, you got to ditch the sticky, my friend. Ditch the sticky. What do I mean by that? You know, when you go to a networking event, if you've been to some, you know, you get those awful stickers. Sometimes you can't even figure out how to peel them off. Have you ever done that? And you sit there for a half an hour trying to find out where the little seam is. <laughs> yeah, that was me. So ditch the sticky, my friends. Invest in a magnetic name tag. Okay, so these are really easy to use. I have two of them here. You can get them online, super cheap, and then you would wear it like this. Ta-da! Okay, so number one, Ditch the sticky, my friend. Up level your game. Number two, the proper place to wear your name tag or your sticky, if you're still wearing a sticky, is your right hand side. And somebody taught me this a decade ago and I never forgot it. And it's so true. So the reason why you put it in the upper right hand corner, like your shoulder clavicle area, is because most people, when they shake hands, even lefties shake with their right hand, which means when you go in for a shake and the other person you meet goes in for a shake, you are eye level to the name tag. So people very quickly get to see what your name is. And so I would reach out my hand, nice firm handshake. Oh, hi there, Kelly. Task complete. What does that mean? And it would immediately boop, spark a conversation. Number three, you're up, you're up leveling your networking game. Show up with clean energy and aura. What that means, and this is where I totally screwed up in the beginning. In the beginning, I showed up at all my networking events, going, looking for, expecting clients. <laughs> That's not how it works, my friends. It's not how it works. Instead, show up with clean, helpful energy and aura. You are showing up to be someone who is there to connect with others. That's really all it is. In the beginning, it's just about connecting with others. If you go there with a clean, energetic aura, you will attract people to you. If you go and show up at your networking with a needy aura, you are actually going to repel and push people away. Test it the next time let me know. Number four, make it easier on yourself. Instead of going to a networking event and trying to like meet 50 people, like some guy told me years ago, some guy actually told me, make sure that when you go to a networking event, you take 10 business cards and you're not allowed to leave until you get 10 in return. That's what I was taught when I uh, attended a conference one time. That's not how especially if you're an introvert. Instead, make it easier for yourself. The way I always did it is I would say, and this is what I tell my students, just go to show up to make two new friends. Anything over two is a bonus. But if you just show up with this clean energy, clean aura, and just to connect with two new friends, it makes it so much easier for you and the other people that you are connecting with. And number five, the big mistake that most people make is have a plan for after you meet somebody at a networking event. So it's about taking your conversation outside the networking event and having a deeper conversation. Now, that does not mean that 
everyone is going to be a good fit to have a conversation with. That's all going to depend on your clients, their clients, what your needs are, what their needs are, and whether it's a great energetic match. Okay, my friends, hopefully this video will get you out there and upping your networking game like that. And don't forget, ditch the sticky. Oh, and by the way, if this video was helpful to you, please hit up that like button, hit the subscribe bell, and make sure you share with someone else who might find this video helpful. Now, in regards to a resource, I am going to put a link below in the description section where you can get a copy of my book, The Concierge Life, and hundreds of dollars of free bonuses and trainings so that if you are building a business, you can get out there and get more clients a lot faster so that you can be of greater service to your local community. All right, my friends, until next week, bye for now.